So NVIDIA has started production of a GPU, and before you say, is it the RTX 4000? Not exactly. This is probably maybe even worse. They're bringing back a GPU that was already out, but they stopped production on it because nobody was buying it because it was such a terrible deal. Do you guys have any idea what GPU I'm talking about? That's going to be the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte. If you guys remember a few months ago, Nvidia stopped producing this GPU because with the declining GPU market, it just didn't make any sense at all. I mean, it's basically the same performance as a 3080 Ti and a 3080, like right in the middle. And with those prices going down even further, this GPU no longer made sense. This is actually a bit of a controversial GPU and one that I don't like very much at all in the market. Now, as a piece of hardware, it's a good product. I mean, it's just a better 3080. It has two more GBs of VRAM, making it better than the 10. It has more CUDA cores. It's more like a pared down 3080 Ti than it is a 3080 really. So as a piece of hardware, it's really not bad at all. The problem comes when you put the price in perspective. Now, it came out at a time when Nvidia basically didn't even want to announce an MSRP for this GPU. Remember, the original MSRP of the 3080 10 gigabyte is going to be 6 99. When this one came out, companies like EVGA were selling it for over $1,200, and some, like Asus, were selling it for maybe as close to $1,500. That's really twice as much or more than the original 3080. And even though it is a better GPU, that price difference does not justify that massive cost. It should have been at most $100 or $200 more in terms of its original pricing. Priced pretty good is a Windows CD key. Today's video sponsor is going to be vip-cdkdeals.com very simple process you can get a windows 10 pro cd key and remember to use code cc20 for a nice discount so why was this gpu ever released at such a high price well you got to look at the time historically that it came out it came during you know 2021 when the gpu prices were getting crazy high and nvidia really wanted to take advantage of this gpu i mean they tried the same thing with the 3090 ti but that failed pretty miserably because it came at the low point of the market as it was declining as you can see so many 3090 ti's are out in stock and also the 3090 ti does have some connection to this 3080 12 gigabyte that's because nvidia has way too many of them including every single uh, gpu above the 3080 the ga 102 that's why nvidia is bringing back this gpu so they can get rid of stock they have way too many ga 102 that's the gpu that that's going to make the 3080, 3080 Ti, etc. So they need to bring it back. I mean, they can sell 3060s and 3070s a lot easier because they're going to be cheaper and people seem to scoop them up more readily. But the high-end GPUs have taken the biggest nosedive in pricing. I mean, look at the 3090 Ti. It started at $1999 and recently we saw it for as low as $1149 and that's being sold brand new from EVGA. So as you can see, there's no point for a $1,200 3080 12 gigabyte because even the 3090 Ti is already under that. So it didn't make any sense before for it to exist in between the 3080 and the 3080 Ti. NVIDIA is just bringing it back, like I said, to get rid of those GPUs. Now, what does that mean for you? I still think, of course, you don't buy anything now. That's really the message that's been going on for the last several months, really, because RTX 4000 is really close. Just because they're reigniting the spark for this 3080 12 gigabyte, doesn't mean that anything's really delayed or anything like that unless the GPU prices of like the 3080 12 gigabyte go to like crazy low levels I'm talking about if it were as cheap as like a 3060 or something like that then that's the only time that anybody could agree that might make sense to pick up because we don't know what RTX 4000 is going to bring in terms of performance or pricing we can expect it to both be fairly high fairly high performance and fairly high pricing but if the 12 gigabyte version of the 3080 stays around $799, which is where most of these have fallen during the last several months, it's still something you should avoid completely. I mean, the original 3080 was $699, so at this point in the market, at this point, at late juncture in the RTX 3000, that's a GPU that you should be seeing on a discount for considerably less. Now, if this GPU was five dollars or $600, does it make sense brand new to buy one now? 
that is fairly cheap and I mean next generation let's say if that's around the price of a 4070 there's a good chance a 4070 may be a bit faster than an RTX 3080 that'd be a little bit of a toss-up I would definitely go more towards the newer generation 4070 even if the 3080 is close at 12 gigabytes I think in terms of gaming and maybe even ray tracing maybe some new technology we may be able to find that a little better in the 4070 and judging by the demand in the gamer market of GPUs right now it may be a little easier to find the RTX 4000 compared to RTX 3000. Now, it doesn't mean that's going to be easy at all because if Nvidia sees that there isn't that much of a demand for that GPU, that just simply means they may produce less of them, creating a similar scenario as to there being a lot but people buying them all the time. Of course, they want to keep that artificial scarcity up if nobody's going to buy because they rather do that to maintain their pricing structure rather than flood the market with massive amounts of GPUs and have the prices naturally go down of course you're going to see them go down faster on the second hand market especially rtx 3000 and that's going to affect new pricing that brings us to the next point how much longer are the gpu prices going to go down and when is rtx 4000 probably going to come out if rtx 3080 12 gigabyte is coming out again now you can expect that we're probably pretty close to at least a 4090 we thought it would come out likely in october meaning it could be announced as early as next month Month. Now, there's going to be perhaps a large event next month, and that's going to be in Ethereum possibly going to proof of stake instead of proof of work, meaning that there's a good chance if that happens, the market may be absolutely flooded with used mining RTX 3000 GPUs. That means that pricing on the secondhand market are going to be probably the lowest we've ever seen, including any RTX 3080 12 gigabyte models. I don't care how new they are, if they were at one point over 1200 dollars who knows exactly how low they go i mean i was very surprised to see the 3090 ti brand new at 1149 probably a thousand dollars off its original price so that was surprising i think we may be in for even more surprises coming up if the market does crash and flood if that ethereum merge definitely happens next month this is a very real possibility something to keep in mind that no matter what gpu you have now rtx 3000 rtx 2000 it may really go down steeply in price and even if nvidia announces an rtx 4090 or 4080 during october if the market is that dire people may not necessarily care that much about the new gpu not because they're not going to be better of course they're going to be better than the current generation but if there's a market flood the pricing of rtx 3000 is going to be so low that it's going to take only really the enthusiasts that are going to want to buy the newer generation if you can find a 3090 ti for way under a thousand dollars maybe a few hundred dollars beneath that who's going to want to get maybe a 4070 or even a 4080 that has maybe similar performance but will likely either cost more or be a lot more difficult to get brand new as our RTX 4000 may have some of the same issues that RTX 3000 did upon its launch. So that's going to be very interesting to see, but Nvidia having to get rid of their high-end GPUs and bringing back the RTX 3080 is really a sign that things are really not that good on their end. And as a consumer, you should probably just wait and maybe hold on to the GPU that you have now, unless it's an RTX 3000 and you know you want to upgrade to the next generation, then maybe you might think about getting rid of it now where the price is still fairly decent, rather than if we do have a GPU crash next month. And then of course, prices are going to go down more even without a crash when rtx 4000 is announced as that's normal with any new generation and then no matter what happens we're going to have to keep an eye on demand and availability those were the two factors that really drove the issues with rtx 3000 there definitely was very high demand some from gamers but i think a lot from cryptocurrency mining and availability was actually fairly high compared to most releases it's just that everybody bought the gpus for really historically high sales numbers going into rtx 4000 the climate is certainly much more different and the availability may be kept lower so the prices don't have to come down nearly as much and maybe to combat the amount of gpus that may be on the second hand market if the market becomes flooded with used gpus like it did during 2017 2018 the last time that everything really changed rapidly but now it could be even worse because there are so many more rtx 3000 gpus out in the wild so we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on it and see what happens and that's 
going to include the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte piece of hardware, great GPU, but when you price it out, really not worth it compared to the options, especially as GPU prices are going down even further. So continue not to buy because we have a lot of surprises coming up towards the end of this year. All right, guys, so let me know what you think about this GPU re-entering production. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.